Hi everyone, this is a reading with me. I hope you are doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's coming through for you. This is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign that there are messages for you and uh, this is a safe space where you are always very, very welcome. All right, so we're going to have a look, see what's coming through, what I can tell you. Wow. Okay, so first and foremost, right now you are feeling super, super confused. Um, some of you sadly are feeling very heartbroken, um, very, very overwhelmed, very overworked, um, just really, really sad. I see that here with the Three of Swords. I do feel like you've gone through some grief recently. Now it could be heartbreak, sadness, ending of friendship, um, a tough relationship in the family. The Three of Swords can also indicate as well, um, perhaps even losing a loved one. There's just... Um, something in your past that has happened or your recent past that has given you so much pain and sadness. Some of you may still be carrying this pain um, from, from something that's happened a while ago, but this pain still stays with you. And um, it just seems to me as well that, you know, it's, it's frustrating because you feel like ever since this has happened, you just can't catch a break. You just can't catch your breath. You can't catch anything. It's, it's, it's just really, really overwhelming. And especially with the death card, you constantly feel like it just gets from bad to worse, to worse, to worse, to worse, to worse. And that's the death card here. It just feels like everything just is overwhelming. It overworks you. It upsets you. It makes you feel frustrated. And one thing here is really interesting because I feel like I'm also looking into the future as well. So we've got sort of this present energy, but also this future energy. And the four of wands with the ace of wands here really shows that a year from now, things look very different in your life. Okay. Um, this can also symbolize the new year as well. So what I'm seeing is that this new year with 2020. Four, okay, with the four of wands, see what I did there. Um, and this new year with the, the ace of wands shows a lot more happiness. It shows a lot more intimacy as well, which is really interesting as well because intimacy um, can come as, you know, like physical intimacy with a, like a partner, but it also means intimacy in your, like, within yourself, that like you feel closer to yourself, you feel more connected to yourself, but also those around you, like friendships, um, family members, co-workers. Um, it also can mean that like people just leave you alone, okay? People that have been nagging at you, people that have been just going like this at you, okay? Like constantly just like, it, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like this doesn't make a lot of sense. Like a lot of people are probably just watching this being like, what are you doing? Um, but it's, it's that nagging feeling. It's that feeling of just constantly like not being let go of, you know, and um, I feel like people will let you be, people will be nicer to you, people will be kinder to you, and there are just some people here that just have a habit of like copying you or not letting you go, um, and they just hold on to you, and they, they just have resentment or jealousy, and I feel like those people will just go away, okay, by the fourth month of 2024, these people will just go away, and I feel like they'll leave you alone, and that makes you feel better, there's a breakthrough that's happening, there's a cycle that is, um, collapsing in many ways, and that cycle is this pain, this sadness, where you just keep attracting negative, 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 now, also, do keep in mind that the more negative you think, the more, like, fear you attract, obviously, that can manifest into more fear, but, it's not always the case, right? Like sometimes you think negative, but something positive will happen. Or sometimes you think something positive and something negative happens. It's not always that fear always attracts fear, but it can, okay? It can after a certain amount of time. So to break the cycle, it doesn't seem to me like, um, you know, it's, it's something you can't do. It's definitely something that's happening here. And I actually feel here as well that this new year brings you a lot of romance, a lot of attraction, a lot of intimacy, a lot of fulfillment, um, meetings, going places, doing things. It gives you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness and a lot of fulfillment as well, which just gives you so much, yeah, so much more peace as well within yourself, which I think is amazing. So yeah, two of swords right now, you probably don't see all of that coming. I feel like your future self is like, hey, hey, it's all going to be all right. But it's it's a hard, it's a hard little um, piece of time right now. It's a hard little chapter of your life, which 
will become a chapter, but um, it's it's overwhelming because you don't know where you stand, you don't know what's going to happen, you don't know how things are going to come together. Um, it is challenging, it is rather overwhelming, and it can feel very, very stressful. And the Magician definitely shows, again, that number one, do you see that number one there? New Year energy here shows a lot of communication coming. So, you know, there can be this person here that wants to communicate with you, that wants to talk to you, wants to go on dates with you, wants to spend time with you, and that can feel super, super exciting. Like there's this beautiful sense of refreshing, rejuvenating energies, which takes your mind off the things that have happened in your past. It's like a great deep healing happens, um, a change happens, right? And it just gives you a sense of, I'm getting out there into the world again. I'm doing things for myself. I'm, I, you know, I'm being looked at for the work that I do and being appreciated and respected for it. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel powerful. It makes you feel seen. Okay. And that leads you to, you know, your future self and your future self's very, very happy. And um, the five of cups definitely shows change. Okay. Fives and tarot indicate change. Five of cups shows you've been through so much sadness and so much pain. People are not treating you well right now. People have not treated you well in the past. It has been overwhelming. It has been frustrating. It has been like not good, but you've tried your best and you're always trying your best to do the most that you can with what you have, right? With what you have in front of you, what you've been given, what's been going on. Like you are always trying your absolute best. And we have the world card here. So world card here shows everything coming together. Also seven of cups as well, your dreams, your wishes, the things that you fantasize about, the amount of money that perhaps you want to make in your life, the kind of relationship that you want in your life. It's going to come into fruition. You're going through a hard chapter and a hard phase in your life right now, but that's not your forever. Just because that's what's happening right now doesn't mean that that's the outcome. Also, um, as well, I just wanted to mention as well that um, I do offer services as well for different rituals as well, rituals for money, to bring more money into your life or to bring new love into your life or to manifest a specific person. There's also rituals for, you know, black magic energy removal or protection rituals. There's also rituals for justice and, um, you know, healing as well, like chakra cleansing and shadow work healing. So there's a lot of rituals that I offer. None of them are spell work. Just wanted to mention that it works on healing your energies so that it naturally comes together because we know that the key to the law of attraction is detachment, acceptance, healing. Um, so that's how it works. And a lot of people have seen results with those, but also there are thousands of five star reviews on the intention items as well. So intention items are uh, consist of things like bracelets, necklaces, um, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, or keep around you. There's sage bundles, teas, and so much more. And it's all uh, listed down below and on my website shopmoonlightguidance.com um, but yeah everything is always there for your convenience and there's also personal tarot readings if you want me to answer questions you have as well so everything is always listed down below um, but you know one of the things that I always do recommend especially for people that don't really know where to start if you ever wanted to do a service is always to do a black magic energy removal because the thing about black magic is that it can really invite a lot of negative experiences into your life due to absolute no fault of your own and then magic is controlling your life through no fault of your own so doing a black magic energy removal can be really really beneficial to live your life in the way that it's authentically supposed to be lived and it can again also very much so be the case that you know people go through a lot of really negative experiences constantly one after the other after the other because of magic once magic is removed then they can actually start to live the life that you know they were meant to live. So that's definitely something that I feel can benefit um, some of you for sure. And then of course, once you've done a black magic removal, protection ritual can protect you for life against magic. And that's obviously important because you don't want magic to build up again. And the reason I say that is because we do have the magician here and this is the card of magic. So I do feel here that um, you are going to live, you know, a very, very fulfilling and very satisfying um, life the ace of swords here shows one of victory one of success one where you are very passionate about the work that you are doing and you feel very happy about the work that you are doing and also the four of swords here shows so much peace and so much joy in your life as well your future self is not worried your future self feels very at peace in a long-term relationship okay um, with so much love and so much happiness and so much joy and a lot of intimacy as well which is obviously really great you will also have um, some really great co-workers i mean if you have your own business you can have some great employees but also this is an energy of amazing friendships you know friendships where you are valued where you are cared for in the way that you would care for them 
working really hard, but also seeing a result of that financial stability as well um, and feeling very, very happy and very motivated with uh, all of these elements, okay? Fire, earth, air and water. All of that on the table providing you stability um, and joy and less stress and being able to, again, do all of the things that you've wanted to do and it all coming together, especially if you want to travel. I mean, it's there. You've literally got the world card. What can I say, right? What can I say? Your future self is, is telling you that where you are right now in your life is not where you're going to be in 10 years time it's not where you're going to be next year either I mean literally next year will also bring you like so much happiness and so much joy so it's not that like where you are today is where you're going to be forever if that makes sense like you will literally have so much abundance and so much joy and so much happiness starting from this coming year and I think that that's the most beautiful thing that we have um, picked up on and we have seen um, is that there's so much coming I mean there you go okay you've literally got actually there's two cards here we've got the hierophant which represents um, stability it represents happiness it represents like things being good and things coming together in such a way that gives you happiness joy fulfillment excitement you know things really coming together in in that way but then we've also got the king of swords and the king of swords literally does represent um just power confidence you know being able to do things but also people listening to you people caring about the things that you say the things that you do the way in which you go about your life and not making your life a misery in the future because i feel like you've always stood up for yourself and you've always tried to live your life very authentically but people have taken advantage of you especially in the recent times or even right now and it's just overwhelmed you and overworked you and you're just thinking to yourself why can't people mind their own business right like why can't people just leave me alone let me do what i have to do why can't i just live my life and that obviously really does overwhelm you a lot and it just makes you feel really stressed so you know that's something we see here um so we have got here it's interesting we've got here old woman so we've got sadness and female okay so there is this kind of energy that is lurking around now you will be able to know how this sort of fits into your life but there is an old woman here who has sadness um and we also have here bright so wife and engagement okay so again you will know how this fits into your life but i feel like it's something that will happen for you in your life somehow um so that is really what i am picking up on and that's obviously really exciting because i did see you know a beautiful long-term relationship unfold for you and um, it can also be that perhaps there's an old woman here who is very sort of sad to see you be successful um, because I do feel like there is that kind of energy coming through here where there is this old person who like, almost doesn't want to be seen by you, doesn't want to know that it's them. And this person's like really sad sometimes to see you be successful, to see you do amazing things with your life. It like bothers them, it annoys them, it frustrates them and it doesn't make them feel good, that's, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, that is what we have here. Um, this is your reading if this resonates with you don't forget to like share subscribe comment down below check out the description box below for information on personal services readings items um, there's also tiktok and instagram i post on there every single day moonlight.guidance on tiktok moonlight guidance on instagram sorry it's the wrong way around moonlight.guidance on instagram moonlight guidance on tiktok everything's linked down below and i'll see you all very soon